Welcome, everybody, to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I'm your host, The Boss. Please subscribe to the channel, YouTube, press the like button and press the bell icon, you know, and also subscribe to the people that come on here, the guests and stuff, because they work just as hard as me or anybody else, you know, just to say like, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's DBoss underscore one, Facebook, Sweet The Boss, you can like, follow, I, I think, I don't know if my friends are filled up or not, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, let's get on with the show tonight. So I have a very special guest. She's a singer, songwriter, and entertainer. And we're going to find out why she is one in a million with Melanie Durant. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. I know he's used to thing. <laughs> I know her too. I know her too. <laughs> so, Love Wendy. I like the hair. The hair is good. Thank you. I like your hair too. Thank you. We're blonde together. Gonna, we can be versatile. In this yes. Case. We can be so, anything. You know, people we can do whatever they want, want to do and how they want to do it. They don't like it all well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, Melanie, can you tell everybody where you come from and your background? And yes, I'm from Toronto, Canada, born and raised. Um, my background is like I'm the multicultural melding pot by myself. I'm the poster child for multiculturalism because I'm Jamaican, Vincentian, Nova Scotian, Irish, Aboriginal, uh, Trinidadian, and did I say Scottish? Yes. And, okay, good. And the last one that I just found out is my great great grandmother is Pakistani. So I'm like, oh wow, I, I thought it was everything but that, but yeah, that too. <laughs> well, we're all uh, we're all mixed up here too. So right? <laughs> you don't even want to get into that with the right? family because you see different people and you wondered if they're my family, and yes, they are. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, sometimes you could just tell like features are similar, and it's like, okay, I I know we're related somehow. I don't yeah. even need to see a paper. I know by looking at you. <laughs> and you're from Nova Scotia. I'm from the other side, the West, the Saskatchewan side. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Saskatchewan's so cold. It's the only place you can watch your dog run away for three weeks straight. Because it's so <laughs> flat. <laughs> I don't always remember to come right back home. <laughs> right? It's like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm tired of running away. <laughs> yeah, Nothing and then here. I... Yeah, we did some stuff in Montreal too. So I grew up in Montreal, so I'm from the east, and then we're, now we're in Toronto. So nice. um, the station is is from Barbados. The, the headquarters is in Barbados, Care Vision. So nice. <laughs> I've been to Barbados. The, You've been there? Yes, the Barbados Music Award. It was a tribute to Whitney Houston, and Sissy Houston was there, and yeah, it was a big a big thing. So you liked it? I loved it. I loved it. There's a lot of talent and. Um, a huge show performance of the choir singing with Whitney, um, not Whitney, with Sissy Houston. And uh, yeah, it was really nice. I got to sing I'll Always Love You, which was which was really hard because uh, Whitney Houston's mom's sitting right there looking at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the pressure, the pressure, you know? It just <laughs> rises up there. <laughs> it was at 1,000. <laughs> I know, but that's not too good when that happens. You know, somebody's sitting there, okay, you're not with me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that was that was hard. <laughs> so how long have you been in the industry? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know because I've just done music my whole life. Um, my mom is a singer. So, I mean, she was singing to me from, I was in her belly from, she was pregnant with me. And then she continued to sing to me as a child. You What's know her what name? I mean? Was she was she famous or anything? Or she? Well, her name was Karen Durant. And she was singing a lot in local bars and touring Canada. And, you know, and then uh, we moved on to doing, I say we because my mom and I do a show. We moved wow. on to doing, right? Tina Turner, Donna Summer, Diana Ross and the Supremes. We do corporate parties, casinos, a lot of events. Although with current times and no crowds and no singing, specifically no moist singing. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, like, so we've had to turn down a lot of things because uh, we work predominantly in the States. So you have to, we have our work permits and everything. We have to cross the border and whatnot. And with all of this, get your shots for, you know, and, and testing and, you know, the, the, yeah. 
So we're just like, um, yeah, no thanks. We'll stay home for now. <laughs> so you got, so you work, you work, you say you work a lot in the States. So you and your mom go together? Yes. I do um, backup singing, backup singing and dancing for her. And uh, basically we put together this show and uh, we do like three 45 minute sets, depending on, you know, we do theaters and whatnot. What's the show called? It's you called Simply the Best. Huh? It's called Simply the Best, depending on what we're doing, because we do an array of things. So it's called Simply the Best when it's Tina Turner and, you know, the, the Dinah and Screams and Donna Summer. And we have uh, Legendary Ladies of Soul, where we cover um, <laughs> Gladys Knight, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, and some Martha Reeves. It depends on what they ask for. We also do Pointer Sisters and, yeah. So you guys sing the songs? Is this what, what happens? Yes, we sing the songs. We get in full costume. Sometimes we forget what? to tell. in costume too? Oh, yes, dear. You have to yeah. check out my mom <laughs> um, on Instagram, at Tina Tribute. And you can see little clips and stuff. I mean, I've got so much more to add to it because I just put my mom onto Instagram maybe a year ago. <laughs> so what do you, wh who do you play? Do you play Tina Turner or her, what do you Oh play? no, I sing backup for my mom. My mom is the big oh. boss on this show. Oh, I do God. some, <laughs> I do some, boss. right? You are the boss. <laughs> <laughs> what she's the boss of that. Yes, I do some uh, Aretha Franklin and some um, Gloria Gaynor. But as for getting in costume, I don't do that. I'm just like, there for a filler as she changes and some okay. um yeah like little well, you're a good big in there. filler though that's a big filler because you got to change and put all those things on yes and yes. what about the pointer sisters do you play a in that yes are you one of them i'm june <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys sing sing something for me i want to hear i want to hear your part in the pointer sisters when you sing it how am I going to sing one part of the Pointer Sisters? Okay, well, well, this sing, this sing, this sing, whatever you okay. sing. The, okay, the just if if it's too loud, let me know. Put your hand up because I don't know what this is going to do. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. I'm so happy doing the new tone dance. Yeah, I'm just burning doing the new tone dance. It's in my feet. I'm so happy doing the new tone dance. Oh well, well, well. <laughs> Wow! I sound like a singer. Thank you. <laughs> it's not just pretty hair, you know. <laughs> you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Ooh. And your mother should have been there too. Yes, oh I love gosh, it so she much. Came on with you, right? Right? She's not here though. She she don't oh, live here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you do these shows. And you, yes. you do, so you Donna Summer. So yes. your mother plays Donna Summer, I guess. Mm -hmm. We do three 45 minute sets. And the thing is, when we first started three the show. Three 45 minute sets. Oh my God. Yeah. That's when a we, long time. It sure is, especially the Tina Turner one. Sometimes they, we just do a 90 minute of Tina. Then like as much fun as we're having, we have learned you got to pace yourself because as excited as the audience gets, we get excited too. We love the music too. So when we're dancing and we're dancing and we're dancing and we're freaking out, <laughs> don't show them you're tired. <laughs> don't show them you're tired. <laughs> but Tina Turner is a very active, um, you know, entertainer. Performer. Oh, yes, Jeez. she is. Oh, my gosh. She's so amazing. And the music so Your mother so wears amazing. little short dresses and stuff. Sometimes, yeah. She got the oh, friends, the gold yeah. friends. She's got the, the Swarovski crystal Armani dress from the, um, what's it called? Never in the Wildest Dreams, Wildest Dreams tour, I believe it is. Yeah, and there's all different versions of the song. So sometimes the band comes knowing because we have different bands in different places. So you have a live band or? Yes. Or oh, there's, there is no like, you know, fake music going on here. We do all live 100%, no track plan. Unless it's a track show and there's no band yeah. in the budget. But yeah, live band, amazing players, amazing players. Oh my gosh. Yes. Gee, we never would have known, you know. <laughs> people are going to hire you, girl, after this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everybody's hungry for entertainment at this point, you know? Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> everybody wants to get out and gather and be together and feel safe is the key is to feel like you're safe. Right. So this whole scary thing is like, nobody wants to take a chance. Obviously, like I'm not trying to go running out anywhere. <laughs> 
Me you know, I right? You, no, I, no, I ain't doing nothing until I fully know that this thing is done. And, I'll yeah. do this on here. I Yes, I can do live. Yes, I can sit and do an interview and you can sit in the chair next to me and whatever, but I ain't doing that. Because I yeah. don't know where you've been or where you came from or what happened to you. Right. <laughs> that sound, that sound, there's a song in there somewhere. Where have you been? I can't not do. <laughs> maybe god make one you know where, I, where I do, i'm not going near you <laughs> actually that's a good uh plug and throw to my brand new album called where i'm at that i just put out yeah, yes, let's see, put it up a bit put it up put it up oh my wow thank you it's an actual album or is that the just the cover oh no no it's album there's vinyl in there and it's beautiful what? it's I clear one of those. it's clear we'll have to get one out to you i know yes you and i also putting up vinyl right well i wanted to do something special it's a collector's item it's limited limited edition and just like here i'm gonna open this let up. me see the back let me see the back of it let's see the back of it oh. where i'm at that's right where right. i'm at i'm at home that's exactly <laughs> We all at home. <laughs> we all at home. We're, we're bringing the entertainment to you, but we're bringing it at home. If you're good, you're good. If you're not exactly. Home, well. <laughs> exactly. And I also so let me have see. CDs. Open it and see. Okay, I have to open it. So what's that? You actually have the CD too, right? Yes. I don't know how many people even have CD players anymore, but they make great coasters. If you want it for a coaster. <laughs> you got it in your car. Multitask. You gotta... Multitask. You know. Yes. Mm. Oh my wow. gosh. I don't know why they make these things so difficult to open. There we go. Because it, it, it's child, it's adult and child proof. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the child proof stuff is adult proof. So here's this. Let me get the glare So what's off that? It. That's inside the album? Yes. What? That's inside the album. It's the back. Do you I play to... that? Is that your guitar? Do you play guitar? I play one song and it's my song, but yes, that's my guitar. My mom got it at an auction and was like, you can play your one song. I was like, yeah, I should learn some more, but what? I have it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the vinyl. What? Girl, yes. that looks so good. Thank you. I'm trying to Clear. keep it off of it, right? So some of the DJs, did they request the vinyl? Of course the they did. Yes. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Well, you're in Toronto. I want one of those. Okay. I'm going to put it right on my wall. Okay. <laughs> no, I love that. Actually, I want to get a frame for it so I could put it up, too. I don't yeah, know if that's weird, just get a but frame. Like... You could probably go to one of the, the, the dollar stores there or something, and they'll see. Oh. we got pretty got some good frames in there. I love the dollar store, but it never Yeah, I but never they got, they got a lot of stuff in there. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised. <laughs> oh, no. Well, for this, I would be surprised, but no, I wouldn't. I got so much good stuff at the dollar store. I'm the dollar store queen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah, because and you and ashamed. you'll get a frame to match that just makes you have the the right measurements. I'll just bring stuff. it with me. I don't care if I look crazy. I'll bring it with me. It's like okay, yeah, just make sure size it, it up. Because <laughs> you can't bring like stuff that. back to the dollar store, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like the I like the colors. It's vibrant. So, what made you come up with you know what I am, where I'm at, where I'm at? Oh, oh yeah, what I'm at and where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Well, my first album was called Where I'm Going. What? And then my second album was called Anticipation. So now my third album, I thought it was appropriate to call Where I'm At. Because it's like a journey and life is a journey, right? Not a destination. A lot of people are in a hurry to get to where they think they call success, where they what they think in their minds is success. But you got to stop and smell the flowers and, you know, realize where you're at at certain times, you know? And, and sit and acknowledge for a second your growth and what it took to get to that situation in that time, right? To get you to that place mm -hmm. and to be grateful to yourself for putting in the work, you know? It's not always just a scrambly struggle to get somewhere. Just take in where you're at. So that's kind of why I called it where I'm at. Well, so when you, so that's, so that's what, how you came up and that's what inspired you to come up with that specific where I'm at. Title, but a lot yes. of people can relate to that. Well, well, actually, that's amazing that you said that because when I sat down to write my album, I really wanted, before I wrote a note, I really wanted to write relatable music, music people could relate to, you know, so there would be a sense of familiarity and, and a sense of comfort within listening to something that maybe um, 
triggers something in you, not in a bad way, an emotion, because I believe that good music it doesn't have a genre. It's either good or it's bad, you know? <laughs> and, and anything good, you feel. You can feel happy, sad, angry, anxious, whatever. But if it makes you feel something, you're doing a good job. Okay. So even if you're going through any kind of stress or mental issues or, you know, you know, breakdown or something, something, the people can relate to your music. Exactly. <laughs> well, they can relate to that because they, you have, what is it, anticipation? Yes. <laughs> where I'm going. Yes. And now it's like where I'm at. Yep. Well, where we're at right now, we're at the house. <laughs> yes, exactly. I had made a joke to my DJ that my next album is going to be called uh, Where Am I from the Old Folks Home. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. I I shouldn't have been that joke. <laughs> so does you, does you and your mother, are you the only child or does your mother yes. have some? No, wow. I'm an only child. See? <laughs> yeah. We broke the mold. Although I look exactly like my mother. Like exactly. We had done a show. Uh, I think we were at Taste of Lawrence. And there was another band coming on after us. And there was somebody that knew my mom from uh, either high school or college. And he kept looking at me like, it's me. It's me. And I thought, <laughs> I went and got my mom and I pointed at him. And I'm like, I know he thinks I'm you because we look that much alike. Wow. <laughs> and she said to him, what's wrong with you? You didn't think I aged at all. <laughs> he was like, oh, my God, she looks so much like you. <laughs> so she does her hair the same way like you or, or not really? Most of the time we look the same. Yeah, well, similar. It, maybe not yeah. on the same day, but yeah. Right. Like my mom does my hair. We do each other's stuff, you know? So she your helps me. Your mom did that, your hair do? Yeah, well, we, we kind of did it together, but yeah. Wow, that's but, really good. Yeah, we're the DIY family. <laughs> <laughs> DIY, meaning yes. what, do it yourself? Do it yourself, yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. Hey, I'm getting good with these accurates. <laughs> right i'm starting to catch up if if in doubt you have to ask a small baby they will tell you <laughs> this is how to work your phone okay don't forget <laughs> they know they're so oh, smart these kids they, they from, know everything from they're born they seem to know everything i don't know what's up with that but how do they know to switch the screen and to turn it it's not on it's not off you're not talking to them and they're not they're not even speaking clearly but they know how to do it they're born tech support 100%. <laughs> and they're more picky what they eat. Yes. Yes. They're so wonderful. <laughs> Little kids are wonderful. Oh my gosh. I get baby itis. They're so cute. So, what? So, who have you worked with? I know you mentioned a couple people before, but who have you worked with in the industry? Um, on this album? The, the album, no, you can talk about general. it on the album or in general. Oh, in general, I've worked with Common and... Um, you were with Common? Yes, what? on the first album called Where I'm Going. It was the... the single, right. And um, basically, this the story that I heard was that he heard the song and wanted to be on it because I... I'm kind of shy, so I don't ask anybody to do anything for me. I'm a DIY, you know, I do it myself. So, yeah, it was, they said to me, um, Common wants to be on the song. It's like, is it okay with you? I was like, give the man the song. Are you serious? <laughs> Why are you asking me this? <laughs> Why are you asking me this? He just, he reached out to you. Hey, like... Common, give him the song now. And the crazy <laughs> thing is that Right before we sent in the song, the whole song got deleted. Like there was a system crash where the instrumental was gone. So what? the producer, yes, the producer at the time, he had to rebuild everything. And it felt just a little bit different. It's really hard to create the same vibe. Because once you create a vibe, it's coming from here. It's coming from here, you know? What yes. I mean? And to recreate that to exactly the same, it's near it's impossible. Hard. Near impossible. Which but is you why, got it done. Yes, yes, we got it done. We got him on the song. We shot the video. And uh, he wasn't able to make it to the video. So he was represented by a lion, uh, a puppet. 
almost like oh. um, from the Muppet Show kind of thing. So it's really cute. Wow. And it's, it's on YouTube. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Where I'm Going, Melanie Duran featuring, co- featuring comment. You, you tell me the people will be checking it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how real life matters, audience. They will be going to check it out. I love that. I love that. Please do. So, I mean, that was really great. Then there was working with Cardinal. He was a lot of fun. We did um, wow. a version of Bang Bang. Uh, a few years back now. So what's that song uh, about, Bang Bang? Well, it's a remake. It was originally uh, sung by Nancy Nancy Sinatra and it was written by Sonny Bono. Okay. So Cardinal called me. Yeah, 50 Cent and uh, G-Unit, David Banner, and we toured Canada. And we all stopped. We stopped the tour bus and we went to watch Kill Bill because Kill Bill was in theaters at the time. (laughs) So how so does that, this song go? Bang bang. Is it? Does it say that yeah. in, the, in the thing? How does oh, it yeah. go? Bang bang. He shot me down. Bang bang. I hit the ground. Bang bang. That awful sound. Bang bang. My baby shot me down. Oh my gosh! I never did. I I gotta go listen to that one. Maybe I heard it, but I probably didn't think. Well, you were. It, it was you. <laughs> Maybe it was. It was pretty big back then. But um, there's bang, a music bang. video for that too. On YouTube, check it out. Melanie dropped Bang Bang featuring Cardinal. And that was his idea to do it after we watched the movie and everything. He had dropped a mixtape called Kill Blood Clot Bill. And um, <laughs> yeah, and he's like, you should do this. And I was like, okay. And I hopped in my car and I went to his house. We recorded it. And uh, <laughs> the rest is gravy. Wow. And who else? You said he worked with 50 um, Cents too? Well, uh, just on tour. Just on just tour. On tour okay. Yeah. Okay. Like I opened, I opened the show. And I, I said hi to him. <laughs> what did he say hi back? <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> he said, are you, you are a, you Melanie you have a sexy Durant? Show. <laughs> no, he told me I have a sexy show. And I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> what did he say? Like, hey, thank you. All the girls with the gap teeth. <laughs> Not, uh <laughs> I used to hate this, but yeah. I embraced it. You know, it's so funny. I had got mine closed and braces, and it came back. So it's like, you know what? It was meant to be? I guess so. Okay. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Yeah. Your mom, too? No. Oh. No, she doesn't have it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then today, we could be like that. So what have you done? I know you probably got a whole set of stories. Uh, the most craziest thing that's happened to you and your mom, you probably got a few things that, you, you know, <laughs> that we were on stage, on set, something that went wrong. <sighs> um, geez, there's so many stories. And of course I've gone blank right now. You went but, blank. Um, <laughs> it, sometimes that happens. That's like, I'm a singer, but if somebody says, sing a song, suddenly I don't know any songs. <laughs> 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 I start saying name one, and then it's like, well, I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. We were singing in a park, and it was outside, and it started to like rain and, and thunder and lightning, and there was um, metal scaffolding that the audience was sitting on, and there was police and an ambulance and like uh, medic help, just you know, there for safety, and. Um, they were telling the audience to get off the scaffolding. Like it's already raining, but we're on stage and we're all live musicians and the whole band and stuff. So there's back line. And because it's starting to rain, we have to unplug, right? And the audience isn't leaving. They don't care about rain. They don't care about thunder. And then we saw the lightning and everybody saw it. And the whole audience moved like choreography. They all went, oh, oh. (laughs) And they leaned back up, but they still didn't go home. Did the lightning hit the um, galvanize or they didn't? No, thank God. But they've been cleared off of that. But they were they were reluctant to even get off of that. It's like, guys, we don't want to die. <laughs> we don't want to see you die. It's not part of the show, you know? Jeez. Then we did a show in Detroit that was for um, ladies who collect dolls, right? And oh. um, yeah, the doll collection everywhere. Dolls everywhere. They brought all these intricate, beautifully so dressed So a lot of people dolls. collect these things then. Yeah, so we did that. I guess you didn't know until you went and did that. I never seen it before in my life. I haven't, but it was it was interesting, you know. Like people collect different things, different people, right. different places, right? So before we went on stage, you know, we did our prayer and everything, and then we were like, all right, let's get out there and kill him, right? 
We're like, yeah, let's go. We get all hyped. We get out there. We rock the show. We're, you know, we're done. We finish. We get a standing ovation. It was really, really great. We're leaving now. And we see an ambulance. And there's a lady laying in the ambulance with her doll. And she sees us and she holds it up and says, rock and roll. <laughs> I'm like, are you care about yourself or you just care about the doll? Her doll in rock and roll. She's trying to say she had a great time, but she's leaving in an ambulance, you know? So after that, we said, we're not going to say we're going to kill him anymore. I mean, we didn't mean that, but words have power. So careful, careful. No more ambulances, you know? (laughs) Wow. Yeah. So you do full time. This is your full time occupation. Yes, it it was. Uh, Hopefully it comes back. (laughs) It's been a long time, you know? (laughs) <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. So who have you worked with that you would want to work with that you haven't worked with that you would like to Bruno work Mars, with? 100% Bruno Mars. Oh my I, gosh. I love, I love how different he is and we're from similar backgrounds. He used to be an Elvis impersonator and he has a musical family. So I'm just like, I love the music. He used to be an Elvis choices. impersonator? When he was a little boy, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I think you find out. Right? But uh, yeah, I just... I love what he does. I love his musical choices. And I think that, I mean, if he ever finds out who I am and maybe wants to work with me, that would be a great honor. But you never know because people look on this show and they see and they scoop people up. So oh, nice. <laughs> Bruno, hi. Hi. <laughs> but, you know, but he he's he's an excellent entertainer also. You know, he, he does his videos and it's very. Exactly. Exactly. I love that he's live. He's not just like singing to a box kind of thing. And he can move around to different instruments. He's just amazing. He's just amazing. So you do pop, you do R&B, you soul, do disco, rock and roll, soul. Disco. Yes. And I'm very, because I've gotten a, a wide array of music. I mean, I think that it reflects back on what I do and my musical choices, you know, because I, uh, I know Smokey Robinson, Diana Ross and the Supremes, you know, uh, Aretha Franklin, obviously all the artists that I named before and more. I'm a huge Motown fan and uh, I'm a fan of real music, like the stylistics and, you know, the stuff that touched your heart and soul and made you feel something, you know, the Strikers give band, you a little chill. Yes. And give you a little You know, chills. BBQ band. Yes. 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 Girl, we go we we gotta start to take take off the stop this uh, interview and go start. <laughs> this 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 be me and you playing music Just back get and a forth. Minute. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention we opened for Cool in the Gang and I think we were in uh St. Louis. It was a huge yeah. music festival, and then they called us up on stage with them for the grand finale, and we don't know them. They were just like, We like you guys, get up here. I was like, and it was for celebrate good times. Come on. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I was in my element. Come on. Yay. So you guys had the mic or you were just up on the stage? Um, We were just up on the stage. Okay. And singing, you know, but not on the mics, no. Not on the mic. Like, Get up here. I, I don't remember having a mic, but I was just so excited to be there. I was like, there was no reason for them to call us up there, except for they liked us. And it's like, come on, join us. I was like, oh, my gosh, you ain't got to tell us twice. <laughs> you, was your mom there or no? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my fun. God. <laughs> your mom must have jumped up there. <laughs> yeah. And we were still in the Tina Turner costume stuff. Oh, oh, oh so you performed there. And then yeah. after they called you guys to come up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you guys have. Su- it's just such a like an exciting, you know, adventurous journey full life. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. We've done so many beautiful things. Like, um, we did shows on the water where the audience is in boats and we are on like the dock and there's like a huge, uh, walk out to the dock. And then there's an audience sitting on land and it's like almost like bleachers. So where they're sitting where they could see, and then the people in the boats are on the water and it's just so beautiful. And then after they do fireworks and it's beautiful. That must There's have so been many... nice. So where was that you did that in? Where? Yeah. We've gone so many places. It's terrible. I can't even keep track. <laughs> I just get my costume to get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys must have a lot of big suitcases when you travel. You're probably paying an extra money. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we drive a lot. We drive a lot. Oh, so you drive over when you go to the States, you drive. Yeah. Well, depending on how far. Like when we do Vegas, we, we fly. Yeah, well, that well, that's a little bit of a trip here from uh, Canada. Yes, but you could go to Atlanta. You could drive. You can go. You know, you could drive to Chicago. It's not. You know, those places are not that bad. 
we so went you guys to like Japan. the road trips? Sometimes, sometimes. We were well prepared. So you drive and your mom drives or you have like an entourage uh, coming with you? My stepfather does does most of the driving. At least he's used to. Uh, hey! Now I, I've kind of taken it over. So, <laughs> yeah. You like to drive. So you guys you get a van or RV. Or you, I guess you have to have a lot of stuff because you guys got a whole bunch of costumes. We have a Tahoe. So oh! it fits a lot. Yeah, we got a fridge a in there. Yeah, a fridge in there and all our bells and whistles. Your so. fridge in there? Yeah. So where do you plug it in? Or you plug that when you get... Into the lighter. Oh, I thought you would have your phones or something. <laughs> no, I got an extra battery pack for that. Like the, the, the cell that Oh, has... my gosh. Yeah. So when you guys are on the road, you guys... So how long do you spend on the road for? It depends. We've done tours. We've been, been to Japan. My mom's done Australia. Japan? It, it just depends on what they ask for. Oh, oh. I'm so, so sorry. So what did you do in Japan? You've been in Japan, too? We toured, we toured the, the army bases and did shows for the Coast Guard. Oh. We've been doing wow. this a long time. Um, my phone is kind of dying, but um, I'm so sorry. I charged it before, but I don't know why it's... But you got to plug it. Do you want to take a commercial break till you just switch over? Yes. Should I switch Yeah, and the then computer? you can come right back in. To yeah, you, yeah. I, I'll, I'll just do, go into a commercials and... Um, okay. And then you can um, give you, and then you'll come right back in. Okay, perfect. All right, so everybody, we'll be right back more with Melanie Durant. Welcome to Real Life Matters. I'm your host, D Boss. Real Life Matters is a power packed, inspired program that brings you real people with real matters. If you are a company, brand, or artist, we will take you to the next level. Watch Real Life Matters, Monday to Friday, right here. Looking for a TV show that brings you a raw, uncut, unbiased opinion? What about a show providing a platform to tell us about your business or talent? Tune in to talk it out. Monday through Friday, hosted by Chill of Come Clean Empire and its co-host, D-Boss, where we bring you not just a TV show, but a TV experience. The eyes and ears of the Caribbean. Carib Vision. Miss Bonita books have helped me with divorcement problems of my parents and other things like with friends. It tells you that you just shouldn't give up and that you should just keep trying to make it work. They help me know what to think and what to do to make me feel better. It makes me less upset when I lost my friends at different schools that I've been to. They show you that people are also going through what you're going through and that you're not alone and that you should feel comfortable talking to a guardian because they're not going to make fun of you or judge you. If someone's going through that type of problem too, they know to always be happy and they always have someone. It's good for all ages and it can really help people. I think the Miss Bonita books could help you and many other people around the world. Le Caribbean Music Camp, c'est une action que nous avons imaginée euh, afin de rassembler des professionnels du secteur de la musique en un seul lieu pendant une semaine. Des cinq jours de travail euh, sont ressortis 26 titres. De ces 26, nous avons fait une petite sélection de cinq titres 
pour une première sortie euh, sous la forme d'un album. Je suis euh, Imaël. J'ai commencé à chanter euh, depuis toute petite. J'ai toujours aimé ça, donc euh, je connaissais euh, toutes les chansons qui passaient à la radio. J'ai connu le CMC à travers... Euh, enfin, par l'intermédiaire de Fred Jean-Baptiste. La reine, euh, elle s'est super bien débrouillée. D'ailleurs, elle a trois titres sur la, le projet. Concernant le, le titre euh, Never Say Goodbye, euh, j'ai été le, le, le compositeur, on va dire. Euh, donc, j'ai composé la mélodie du morceau. J'étais intriguée par cette question d'atelier d'écriture. Et puis en fait, tout se fait de façon naturelle. Bon, Quelqu'un commence à jouer du piano, on a une mélodie et voilà, ça prend forme petit à petit. Ils ont bien travaillé, je trouve, que les productions sont vraiment de très bonne facture, de très bonne qualité. Alors déjà, c'était euh, très enrichissant de, de, de rencontrer, d'échanger de, de, avec d'autres artistes. C'est, selon moi, une bonne démarche pour que les, déjà les artistes puissent travailler entre eux, ce qui, est, qui, qui normalement devrait se faire normalement, mais qui ne le se fait pas. Et bien, le CMC a permis ça et, et, et j'espère que ça va perdurer. On est dans un, dans un bassin caribéen, on a des, des influences musicales communes et c'est intéressant aussi de, de pouvoir mettre tout ça en commun et d'en faire quelque chose, d'en faire une, une force. L'industrie musicale euh, fait aussi partie de, de l'économie de nos territoires. C'est quelque chose que l'on n'a pas forcément, que l'on ne met pas forcément en valeur euh, ici en Martinique ou encore en Guadeloupe. Et donc via ce projet, c'est une façon pour nous de nous impliquer euh, et, et d'avoir euh, de premières euh, expériences avec ces secteurs-là. Alors je vous donne rendez-vous très prochainement sur BT Live, Live on Direct. <rire> Well, we're back. We're back here. Welcome back. We're back here with Melody Durant. You know, we just had a little thing. This is real life matters. So anything can happen, but we're back now. So let's go on. <laughs> where were we? With your boat, you were performing at the um with all the boats around, but you said you couldn't remember. Oh yes. I still don't remember where that was, but uh Coast okay. Guard, something to do with the Coast Guard. Okay. But um, yeah, it was so beautiful. We've done that a few times. Um, so where did you like the most where you've performed? I know you like everywhere because that's a hard one. What? That's a really hard one because oh my goodness, we've done Rama. The whole thing is Rama doesn't really like to get Canadian talent for some reason, like tribute shows and stuff like that. They like to outsource Rama? to the states. So what's, who's Rama? Is that a is that an agency? Or Casino something? Rama, Casino Rama. Oh, Casino. Okay. Yeah. So what happened is because we work in the states a lot, they hired American acts and they called us. <laughs> <laughs> and oops, well, oops, well we're Canadian, <laughs> right? And that's the thing. A lot of times we'll be in the States and we'll tell the audience that we're Canadian and they, the audience does this for a second. <laughs> they think we're yeah, American. Think I don't know. Some, some people think that we're living in igloos or, or we don't have, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, we, I think, we have four seasons of weather and we are up here. Yes. And we don't drive around with sled dogs. <laughs> 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 some people's like where's your dogs i'm at home and they're not sled yeah, they're dogs just, they're all just outside the um <laughs> they're just sitting outside there it's like two little chihuahuas they're not pulling me anywhere <laughs> yeah, pulling it, yeah we're pulling on the dry land oh, yeah <laughs> ridiculous people that come up with these things you know but thank god we had geography and stuff and learned about other cultures here in canada <laughs> right <laughs> they blame us for not knowing the black history, but you know what? Know the history, period. Yes. Yes. Oh, I just thought of another story. We yes. used to do Motor City Casino every, at least twice a month, a couple years back, a few years back now. But um, that's in Detroit, number one. So a lot of people live in Detroit and somebody had said Aretha Franklin is here. At the time, like she was alive at the time, obviously. Yes. And I went running out of the dressing room because they said that she went to go eat food. So I was trying to find her. I'd never <laughs> found her. 
But I, I was, oh my God. If, if I found her, Charlie would have thought I was crazy from running, hopping, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I just, oh, I, um, um. <laughs> she was eating food, but they didn't know where she was eating food at. <laughs> so they said the food court, but Motor City Casino is oh. very big and there's a few food courts. So yeah. And actually oh. since then it's been um, under construction, like they've changed a lot. I haven't been there in years, but I used to love the way the American audience embraced us. Like they would get excited. They would come in with canes and walkers and throw them down like they just been healed and dance around the whole room and say they had the greatest night of their life. I was like, you limped in here. You limped in here. Like you're dancing now. It's, it's so amazing. Wow. I've seen it so many times that I, I don't know what to say except for wow. And God is good. <laughs> so oh. you guys. Go Sorry, ahead. I just remembered in Motor City again, um, Flo from the Supremes, her daughter actually came and saw the show and requested we sing Someday We'll Be Together. So wow. that was really touching. I've got bumps again. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I keep coming up. First I'm like, oh, I, I can't remember anything. And now I won't shut up. See what you've done? <laughs> you see what you've done? No, it's okay, but it's okay. That's what you're here. If people are here to get to know you, you know? Yes. So what's more, for um, Melly, do you are you guys mean acting because you guys obviously um, you know do these people impersonations and stuff. So are you guys have you acted in any movies or do you have anybody casted you or anything or? You know what? No, um, I acted in a movie, but it wasn't really acting. Like I got a call to um, be an extra, and I thought. Oh, that's, that sounds easy. You know, you just sit in the green room and you wait and they might not even call you. Right. So oh. I go into this place. I bring everything that they asked me to bring. I got outfits and whatever. I got my suitcase. And then I realized that extras, they, because they do this a lot, there's like models and, you know, little actresses or whatever they do. And there's a click. So they all sit together. They know each other. They're like the mean girls <laughs> and, and guys. Right. <laughs> so, I'm sitting there kind of by myself and I meet this, this woman and she's so nice and we're just chit chatting and hitting it off. And she's kind of sitting by herself too. Cause she's an older lady and not in the kid click, you know? So they keep coming in the room and saying, who wants to be in this scene? Right. And the kids are like, Oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And I'm like, I don't even care. I was like, they bought, they got an espresso machine. There are snacks. This spot is great for me. Right. After, I said, we're getting paid to sit here to the lady. <laughs> and so the, the man comes in again and says, who hasn't been in? And she's like, we haven't. And she's pointing at me. I'm like, I just want to eat the chips and cookies. So <laughs> she's pointing. <laughs> and she goes, I really want to be in this. I said, okay, fine, let's go. So we go, I put on my high heels and, you know, we go because between the high heels, you should definitely have your Crocs. If you're ever going to do extra work, you can't be in high heels all day waiting. Oh, my God. And sometimes there's nowhere to sit. So, yeah, have your Crocs. <laughs> so put on the heels, go wait into this. Um, it's like a mansion is the location. And it's set up with a whole, like, it's a pool area in a solarium encased in glass, right? And there's a dance floor. And there's it's like a party all around the pool. It was a, I can't remember the guy's name. I don't remember after. The guy from Born Identity, uh -huh. Jason Bourne, the first guy. He's so popular. <laughs> I'll remember after. Anyways, um, they say the instructions are, oh, this is the best party you've ever been to. Dance like you're having the most amazing time. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tell you when, when, we, when they yell rolling, right? So they, first they put us up on this, um, like a, a runway that's going across the pool. And only a few people are up there, right? So they start the thing and we're just kind of, you know, dancing a little. And then this is before the dance, like it was the best thing, the instruction. We're dancing a little and they're like, cut. And then they take me and this older lady off of the rafter thing, off of the runway thing. Yeah. And they put us by the door and they put two like 20 year olds up on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so the lady says to me, oh, they took us off of there because we're old. I said, we? <laughs> and she goes and that's when they say dance dance like you're the greatest time ever right that was the instruction i said i said to her listen you want to be in this stick night stick by me come come by me right so they they yell rolling 
So I start dancing like I'm doing the show. I start swinging my sweater above my head and I'm doing the Tina Turner choreography. And slowly the lady that I met starts backing away from me like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the director yells again, cut. And it's like, oh, okay. And then they say, you get up there. They take the girls down, put me up there. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the and, other lady uh, didn't get to go then. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> but um, because she backed up, I was like, "Come on, you said you wanted to be in this. Stick with me, and we'll go do it together." I really just wanted to eat chips and drink coffee with a fancy coffee machine. <laughs> this is her fault. <laughs> so, anyways, after that, the little model click started being really nice to me and going, "Wow, your energy is amazing!" And this and that and this. Oh, it's like, oh, you you see me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be having coffee and chips over there. <laughs> but yeah, that was another experience. I don't even know how we got into Oh, you asked about acting. Yeah. I was trying not to. Oh my God, I was girl. <laughs> 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 <You're not gonna laughs> that's great. No, but that that's 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 something good. So, you know, what more, you know, what more can we expect from Melanie Durant in 2022 coming up? What more can we expect? Um, more music, more visuals. I'm not done with this album. You know, I really wanted to um, make sure that it gets played, that people hear it. I, I basically poured my heart and soul into it. And it's a smooth listen from top to bottom. That's something that I always wanted to accomplish, something no, with no fillers. Some, every song means something to me. And I, I enjoyed listening to it myself. I listened to it for a good while and it was like the only thing I listened to because I had to come up with so much detail to, you know, bring it to life. So there's nothing more gratifying than having an idea come from your mind into an actual thing and come into fruition where you can share it with other people and they can see it and they can enjoy it, you know? So, so how did you come up with the song One in a Million? One in a Million? Um... Well, the whole album is basically a throwback to the 90s R&B, you know, the way music mm -hmm. used to be. Um, so how did I come up with that? Uh, the title, I was singing one, one in a Million already. And then, like, I had written that part already. And then I remembered, oh, my goodness, Aaliyah had a song called One in a Million, right? So I just thought that's so perfect because it being a tribute to the 90s stuff and stuff that I really loved, stuff that people from that era really loved. So, I mean, some people could take that in the wrong way, but it, it's mm -hmm. it's no not meant as a disrespect at all. Wow. It's tribute. Well, everybody got to go listen to that song. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I'm going to listen to it. I listen to it, so I love it. Thank so, you. So you, you want to give out any shout outs to anybody? Shout out to my mom. Thank you, mom. I love you so much. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my DJ, DJ Grouch. He's on the ones and twos across my entire album. I think maybe there's one or two songs that he's not on, but because it's just like a, not a hip hop song. <laughs> but he's always had my back. He's been together for like 20 years. Has it been 20 years? Grouch, DJ Grouch, my guy. Yeah, the Grizzly. Uh, my manager. 20 years you were somebody. Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. He's kind. He's sweet. My mom likes him. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, he's totally not a, a relationship, any kind of physical relationship. He's just my very, very good friend. And you yeah, know what? They, they got, you got people like that. They can be your good friends. You know? Oh, not, yes, I know. I was just being being clear. You know, like, even my mom <laughs> likes him. But it's like I my mom sings back up for me in my show. So, right. um, oh, I got one more story before we go. OK, I was doing the jazz fest the toronto jazz fest and mm -hmm. i sang unchained melody in my repertoire and it brought me to tears singing it and then the audience started crying and then it was just and then i got a standing ovation and i felt so i mean we've gotten standing ovations so many times in my mom's show and i mean i don't uh, at first, I couldn't see the audience. As a performer, I couldn't see because I was too busy doing my thing. And it's like, I just couldn't see. So I couldn't even hear the applause because people, different people have different ways of dealing with stuff. So yeah. this is the first standing ovation that I actually took in and felt the energy from them and was so connected to the audience that I, I burst into tears. And I turned to my mom and I ran 
to the back where she was singing back up and I just hugged her and cried in her arms. I made jokes for years that that's why I bring my mom on the stage that if anything goes wrong, I just go, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> but this time I actually did it. And the audience was so amazing. They were so amazing. And they were, they were coming to me after to thank me for sharing myself with them and being so transparent that I don't know. It was such an honest moment that that was wow. probably my favorite moment to date on stage. Well, that's something you're going to put in your memoirs. Yeah, for sure. Memoir sounds like I died or something. <laughs> oh, bitch, no, no, you died that you put in your memoirs and just put it in your, in your book and your, you know, your thing that your most yeah. moment that you remembered. Okay. All right. Well, memoirs and obituaries different. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Okay. <laughs> so what? So where can people find you on social media if people want to book you, book you and your mom to come out and stuff? Oh, okay. For myself, you can find me at melaniedurant.com. Every social media um link is on there, links to videos. I'm on YouTube, melaniedurant.com. Uh, Instagram, MelanieDurant.com. It's always MelanieDurant.com or at MelanieDurant. That's okay. it. <laughs> well, it's, easy. it's easy to find. You yes. guys go out, everybody who's watching tonight, you guys go out there and support. The, the, I want, I go, I'm going to go watch some of these videos. <laughs> Please do. Tonight. Please do. Yes, yes, yes. And subscribe to the channel because you guys are really entertainers. You know, you guys are out there like doing all kinds of stuff, like, you know, Tina Turner, you're being and doing an, an, and in costume yes. you know, and with a live band. Yes. That's. <laughs> I love it. I miss it. I want my life back. That's where I yeah. see myself in yeah, five it'll years. Come, it'll come outside. Back. Please trust me. Yeah. Because live band music, entertainment, people like that. They love it. If you have and to do the track, it. well, it's okay. But, you know, but live yeah. band, you can't. You, we can't replace that. No. No. <laughs> but anyways, I want to thank you, Melody. You got to come back. You got to come back with your next album. And, yes, and don't, please. And don't run away from off air when we come off because I got to okay. ask you something. Okay. And um, I do want to thank the viewers tonight for watching Real Life Matters. And thank you. We had a great, a great interview here with Melanie. If you missed it, part of it, then you're going to have to go back and watch it on the YouTube channel on DBoss Network. So everybody, bye for now. Bye, everybody.